All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out. The prophesied the downfall of this wicked kingdom on what you know to be America. And I'll let you and I'll let you know America is going to be destroyed via thermonuclear missiles. Thus saith the Lord. But before all that, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rekal, Kadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders, which are a great millstone. And peace and blessings to the sincere Akim pushing his truth and sincerity. And those he putting the videos up throughout the week to feed the sheep. And shalom to the sincere Akwafium listening and learning. So I'm going to start right here. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, Ezekiel 3, and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So the Most High God has set up men to, uh, to be watchmen over his people, okay? He set up men to be watchmen over his people. So because why? Because our people, his people are destroyed, okay? That's why the Lord is coming back to deliver his people because they're destroyed, they're being oppressed, okay? America is, is the land of the slaves, okay? And who are those slaves? The Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, because blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans is 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 a uh, white man so-called white man doctrine. That's not real. Okay, you can't open up the Bible and find black man, Latino, Native American, white people, right? Chinese. Everybody has a biblical nationality. Okay, and the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, we just so happen to be God's favorite people. Okay. And God is going to, he's sending his son back, right? God is sending his son back with all the angels to wreak havoc on this place and everybody that had a hand in oppressing his people, okay? Because there is going to be a, a, a recompense to everybody who, uh, who has slaves. Everybody who's against the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the son of God, who you people call Jesus, he's going to come back and he's going to put you in slavery. Okay, he's going to put you in slavery. Okay, the blacks, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the the, uh, the Lord, who you people call Jesus, he's going to make sure that they're uh, that they're in the ruler seat. Okay, but when you read the, uh, the Lord's prayer, what is this? what's up, brother? When you read the Lord's prayer, it's talking about uh, the, let the, uh, the will of our Father be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, because when, when the new heaven comes, it's going to be set up on earth. It's not going to be in uh, God's kingdom. Okay, it's going to be set up here on earth. And the rulers are going to be the Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And anybody who's not from that bloodline is going to have to be slaves. Thus said the Lord. That's just how it is. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter 2. And seven, it's like 317, son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So we have been made a, a, a watchman unto the house of Israel. Okay, we're set up to let our people know what the destruction is coming to America. And we gotta come out of America spiritually. Okay, stop celebrating birthdays. Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Okay, stop worshiping uh, a so-called white Jesus. Okay, because the, the Bible already said what the Lord looked like. He walked on earth. Okay, he came in the flesh, right? And he wasn't a, 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 a so-called white person with a stringy hair. Okay, he had he had woolly hair. Okay, and he had dark skin and a deep voice. Who does that fit? Okay, the so-called black people, Latinos. Okay, we're literally the descendants in the flesh of the Most High God. Okay. Everybody thinks, everybody go to church think, oh, I'm a God, I'm a child of God. No. And in order to be a child of God, you got to come from Jacob. Okay? And in order to come from Jacob, you got to descend back on your father's side from the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Contrary to popular belief, everybody on earth cannot receive salvation. Okay? If you descend back to a so-called white man, Chinese man, an Arab, an African, the most high God is against you and you're not going to get salvation. You, you can't get salvation because salvation isn't for you, okay? 
Salvation is only for the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. But y'all been indoctrinated by religion, right? Because the religion and the Bible are two separate entities, okay? Nowhere in the Bible does it says everybody's going to get salvation. Nowhere in the Bible does it says uh, Jesus, who they call Jesus, died for everybody. You cannot find this in the Bible. This is literally things that these uh, pork chop pastors made up, okay? Nowhere in the Bible that it says God love everybody, okay? Nowhere in the Bible that it says everybody's created equal. That's all garbage. Nowhere can these things be found in the Bible. Nowhere. But they teach you that today in church to keep you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans in check. They keep y'all brainwashed from rising up against y'all oppressors, okay? It's all a tactic, and it's working, okay? But the most high God set it up to where it will work. Only the elect are going to wake up, okay? That's why when the Lord spoke in parables, they was asking him, Lord, why are you speaking in parables? I thought we supposed to wake people up. And what did the Lord say? This is not for everybody, okay? Because although the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are, are God's people, the majority of God's people are going to be destroyed here. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So the Most High God sent a watchman unto the house of Israel. Not the planet, the house of Israel. Not everybody, okay? Because the Most High God, he's not out here for everybody. He's only out here for his people. It says... Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And this is the, uh, this is his mouth, okay? And we're out here giving a warning, okay? We're, we're the mouthpiece of the Most High God. These are his words, and we're speaking, okay? We're letting our people know what's to come. We're letting our people know that you got to repent or, or destruction is coming your way. It's not going to be a good time. It says, When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So we got to come out here and let our people know that listen, if you want to continue to be wicked, you are going to be destroyed. Okay, you will die. Okay, but if we have this knowledge and we don't come out here and we don't preach the gospel, the blood is going to be on our hands. Okay, it says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. It's like here, verse 19. It says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall surely die in his iniquity. So our, what was that? You say you just gonna talk and walk off? That's cool. The wicked flee when no man pursue him. It says, when I say unto the wicked, suck it. Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So we so we come out here to get the blood off our hands. By warning you people to repent and to be converted back to the truth. Okay, back to the gospel. Which has, which has nothing to do with what they're teaching in these churches today. Okay? Because contrary to popular belief, there is a penalty for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord did not die so that we can sin. Okay? That never happened. The Lord did not die so that we can sin. Law, the laws are still very much on the table. Okay? Watch this. This is Matthew chapter 5 and 17. Think not that I'm come to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So the Lord said he didn't come to destroy nothing. 
He came to fulfill. There was things that he needed to fulfill. Okay? He didn't come to destroy the law. Okay, the law is still very much on the table. We still gotta keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, it's still penalties for that. Okay? Smoking cigarettes, weed, doing pills, okay? And all these drugs, there are penalties for that. The scriptures say if you destroy the body of the Lord, you defile his temple, you're gonna be destroyed. Okay? You're gonna be destroyed. Adultery is still on the table. Okay? It says. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. So it says, till heaven and earth pass, which heaven and earth is clearly still here. It says, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And all isn't fulfilled yet. Okay? So when you go into jot or tittle, it says one, uh, uh, even a little thing. That's what it means. Okay? So nothing has been removed from the law. The Lord did not come to give us uh, free will to sin. This, he has not done that. That's nowhere in the Bible. That's something that these fake pastors made up. Okay? Nowhere is that in the Bible. Okay? It says... Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And that's going into what? The two-thirds. Okay? Because there's going to be two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who are going to be destroyed here. Okay? Who are going to be destroyed. Why? Because y'all don't want to keep the law, statutes, commandments. Y'all don't want to come back to righteousness. So y'all are going to be destroyed. Okay? Okay? 